Hi dear friends. This is another tutorial about OpenFoam and the ways we can do our post processing. Before starting our tutorial, if you have not subscribed our channel don't forget to subscribe our channel so you will be informed if new video is uploaded. I know some of you are not satisfied with the post processing of OpenFoam and Paraview. If you are one of them, in this tutorial another post processing software is proposed. TechPlot was introduced in previous video for plotting, but in this video, we will export the whole case file to TechPlot. The first step like always is to do your simulation, this step is skipped to make the video shorter. After running your case if you have installed TechPlot in Windows you must transfer the case folder to the Windows otherwise skip this part. First of all, click on the load data and then find the control dict file of the case. You can do lots of post processing here. In this tutorial some features will be introduced and then you can go and find more about it. You can see your mesh and some other features are in the left hand. This case is damn break and you can have your own problem. By clicking on the geometry all the boundaries are shown. You can hide some of them. For better understanding I hide the front and back walls. There are two important options which are ISO surfaces and slices. If you click on ISO surface you can create the surface of any component you want. Even more than one component in one slide. Like here you can have the surface of water together with pressure. Also, you can change the color and create an animation. The other feature is slice. You can have the same components in any surface you want, X, Y, Z, I, J, and arbitrary. Same as ISO surface you can have several components by using show group options. If you want to have the contour all over the geometry you can activate show start and end then show intermediate slices and increase the number of slices to high numbers. You can also change the color.
You can also add a text or picture and some shapes. The last important feature is plot which in another video I will explain it completely. But, let's just see how it works very briefly. It has lots of tools as you can see and that is the best point about TechPlot. Share your ideas in comments about TechPlot and post processing in this software. Which one do you like more OpenFoam or TechPlot? If this video was useful for you share with your friend and like the video and subscribe the channel.